Is it yours now? Bamboo sent me the H2D. This is the version without the laser kit. Tony, you're gonna have to get off the printer. Good boy. You gonna help me set it up? Anything, this thing's a beast. It's heavy and I gotta find room for it, but I am stoked. Bamboo offered to send me one of these printers and I had a project in mind that I could use this for, which is 3D printing some hydrofoils. Right now I'm using my Neptune 4 Plus printer because it's the only one that's tall enough, but this one, the H2D, is actually taller than my P1S and X1C, which for printing hydrofoils is way better because it's a core XY. It doesn't get that, you know, bed slinger wobble. I jumped at the chance to have a larger build volume printer that's core XY. And of course, just like all their other printers, it is so well packaged. FedEx dropped this off. Two guys brought it in. I would put it on par with like Apple level packaging. I figured it'd be funny just to put for scale how big the printer box came shipped in next to the stove. Like look at the size of this thing. It is big. Just keep that in mind if you're gonna get this printer. Like I'm not gonna do an unboxing of this, but of course, this nosy Nelly decides to get hair all inside the printer. Why? If there's hair in my prints, it's because of you. So over here on my print farm, because I got my X1C, my AMS is set up in a top and bottom configuration. I love this. Such a handy way of accessing the filament. P1S here. This is where my Neptune 4 Plus is and it's what's the only one that has the tall enough gantry or print volume that I can print off the hydrofoil wings. Now with the H2D I'm going to be able to print these off. Don't get me wrong, this printer for the price, excellent printer, but it's definitely not to the level of quality of the bamboo printers, specifically the Core XY, because as the print starts getting taller, there's more wobble introduced and you get ringing in artifacts. I don't know if you can really see it because on the white filament on the camera, it's a little hard to see. Everything from like the bottom up to about halfway here, which is about, I don't know, 150, 200 millimeters, looks great. Up here, right here, I get more banding and ringing and it's just the nature of a Core XY. And on especially, you can kind of see see this right here on this part of the hydrofoil right here. It's, it's not terrible because this is going to get glass. It's not a big deal. Totally serviceable. Will not affect the performance. But it's not as good as a Core XY. Price of this printer, it's a good value. So we are going to... Okay, it's all set up. It's doing its calibration right now. The initial setup, have to say Bamboo does a fantastic job on guiding you through. You know, check out other people's videos. This isn't gonna be a review video and I don't plan on really doing a review video. I'm gonna use this printer to make stuff and see how it works out compared to all my other printers. But I expect that this should work as well or better than my other Bamboo printers. I want to see how well it works. Print quality, speed, those are the things I care about. Oh, and ease of use, of course. Also, if you are thinking about getting one of these printers, the H2D, make sure you get a table that or have a location where you can access the rear of the printer, because in my case, I can't really access the back of the printer really easily, and it does make it a little bit harder to do any maintenance back there, which inevitably you will need to do. You know, it's totally manageable. I can slide this printer around, but it's just not, you know, it makes it a little bit harder. It's a little bit more of a pain. And it, you know, there's rubber feet on it. It doesn't really slide that well. And you wouldn't want it to slide. So just keep that in mind. But it's a beautiful printer. I'm just excited to get to play with something like this. And having a YouTube channel that I where I make stuff, I'm fortunate enough to be able to get one of these printers. So yeah, I'm stoked to get 3D printing some hydrofoils. It's also pretty quiet considering. I noticed that the camera is vastly improved as well. 
I unbox this printer and put it straight to work. I need to print off an FCS2 Finbox jig, router jig for someone. Summer's here, I gotta get printing on those hydrofoils and then get them glassed so I can try them out. So uh, once this is done, the next thing I'm gonna print is the hydrofoils. I'm not doing any testing. This machine is going straight into production. This came out beautiful. Surface finish is really nice on it. Now let's print some hydrofoils. All right, I'm slicing it. I'm going to print both of the middle sections at the same time. It's going to be a long print, long enough. Well, it's 13 hours. It's not that long. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully no ringing. And away we go. I like that it has auto bed leveling with auto and yeah, a lot of it. I am going to turn on the time lapse. Oh, I need to insert an SD card first. Cool. The printer doesn't take an SD card. At least I didn't see one. It takes a USB stick. Now we can turn on the time lapse. Send the print. I like how this vent just pops open too when you're printing PLA. And then the rear vent also pops open too automatically. Well, love having more than one printer because I can do a bunch of prototyping at the same time. Ooh, the prints are beautiful. Although the USB stick seems to have run out of memory, and I guess I should have checked it before using it. I'll do that next time. I like that it has a side window as well. Alright, let's take a look to see how these came out. Oh yes definitely much better than than a bed slinger the core XY just does such a better job on prints that are tall because you don't get that rocking motion so yeah these look great same on the right side looks fantastic the other thing that's cool is this LED bar here shows the progress of the print so if it's three quarters of the way done the light will be lit up three quarters of the way that way if you're across on the other side of the room you can just glance at it and just see all right this is for a different project this is for the boogie the toe boogie okay I got the wings the wing tips printing over here what I love about having multiple printers is that then I can be prototyping on the other ones because if I design and then I need to print something if I have one printer running I gotta wait until it finishes even though these are small parts I could print them all off on one print bed uh, they're all gonna finish at different times and I need to adjust my prototyping as I'm doing it this is going to be a mount for the brushless motor but just look at the difference in lighting Look how good the lighting on the H2D is compared to the P1S and the X1C. Now, these are tinted, but even so, the lighting is just so much better. I mentioned that on previous older printers as well that weren't bamboo. Anytime that the printer had good lighting, like Chef's Kiss. I also like on the AMS2 that it lights up on the, f the roll that's being used on the spool. Whereas over here, you just have a blinking light of the spool that's being used. And also these ceramic upgraded filament uh, slots, inserts. Oh yeah, 
very much like that. They just took the AMS system and then they just drastically improved it. Although it's a pricey piece of kit. And I mostly, I don't do a lot of multicolor printing. I mostly print single color, mostly white and black actually. That's why over here, if you look, my AMSs are just black and white because it's just easier for the type of functional prints I do. Although I do have all kinds of color filament everywhere. I love looking at this tool head. It's so cool. Well, there's my print farm. All bamboo now. All right, I'm gonna end the video here, but I wanna quickly show you the functional prints of the wings that I've done on the H2D already. They're beautiful, I really like them. Great quality coming off the machine. I like that I could print this whole wing assembly off in one go. Something I wanna point out, the benefit of having a chamber that is, well, it is a heated chamber, but printing PLA, I don't need that. It's between the wing tips here. It's a perfect fit. There's no gap. Whereas, so this one's printed on the H2D. This identical wing is printed, and I showed you earlier, there's some banding here too because of the nature of a bed slinger instead of a core XY. This wing here has a big gap. So on either side, there's like a gap here and you can see the play and it's totally fine. This was printed on the Neptune 4 Plus. Totally serviceable because this is gonna get filled in with glass anyway. And I've been experimenting with how the mounting holes will work. So this right here, I've left three big holes here for the mounting screws and this is for an axis mount. I'm gonna fill this all in with fiberglass, epoxy and fiberglass. So it has a really strong mounting point for the bolt holes, which over here on this foil that I printed out previously, uh, I just had three small holes with glass and epoxy. Totally held up fine. I've used this foil actually, and um, I'm actually getting up on foil a lot easier um, using this on my e-foil. So I'm really excited to experiment and do some more prototyping of these. I will eventually post this foil here. This is kind of a replica of an Axis 1150 PNG. And I have been experimenting as well with different ways to glass that bolt section for additional strength where the attachment to the fuselage happens. And again, this one was printed on the Neptune and you can just see the gap at the top and the bottom, whereas in an enclosed printer, there's less change in temperature over time. There's less warping of the, the bottom of the wing pulling off. Now this can be totally mitigated if you use a brim or a raft with some experimentation, but I just like this seems to work just fine without having to add any of those extra things. I like simplifying my workflow. This will be the next wing that I'm gonna try on the e-foil. Uh, and I'm gonna experiment and print off a few other ones and see what I come up with. That'll be in another video. I think I'm gonna end the video here for the H2D initial thoughts on it. It's a beautiful printer, just like my X1C and P1S. Yeah, totally stoked to get printing some more hydrofoils because I've definitely gotten a lot more into it. And uh, my pump foiling has actually gotten a bit better. I'll put a clip like right here. All right, I will see you guys in the next one.